we will now look at multiplying two radical expressions that have large numbers. We could follow exactly the same procedure as we did before and multiply the two radicals together. However, that would give us the following. Five thousand four hundred t to the eighth. Five thousand four hundred is a rather large number to be reducing the radical. However, there is an alternative. Instead, reduce the two radicals first, then multiply the answers. Take a minute and reduce the square root of seventy-five t cubed. Please pause the video while you do this. By reducing the square root of 75t cubed, we get 5t square root 3t. Please copy this into your notes. Now do the square root of 72t to the fifth. Pause the video while you complete this problem. When you complete this problem, you end up with 6t squared root 2t. Please copy this into your notes and pause the video. So now that we have simplified these two radicals, we are going to multiply them together, multiplying the parts that are under the radical times the parts that are under the radical, and the parts that are not under the radical times the parts that are not under the radical. Please do this now. Pause the video while you finish the problem. So we're going to complete this by multiplying 5 times 6 and the t times the t squared and the square root 3t times the square root 2t. 5 times 6 is 30, t times t squared is t cubed, and the square root of 3t times the square root of 2t is the square root of 6t squared. We are now ready to try to reduce the radical that is left. So, again, we're going to divide that radical up into the square root of 6 and the square root of t squared, being sure to copy down what's in front of the radical so you don't lose it later. The square root of 6 can't be reduced any further. However, the square root of t squared has an even exponent. Therefore, we can take the index of 2, divide it into the exponent of 2, and get t to the first. Again, using multiplication, we can rewrite this as 30t to the fourth root six. And that is our final answer. Please copy this into your notes. If we had done it with the square root of 5,400 t to the eighth, we would have had to have recognized that 900 is a perfect square that divides evenly into 5,400. That means you have to have the perfect squares memorized up to 30. As the numbers get bigger, this process becomes more and more difficult. Please copy this all down in your notes if you have not already. Pause the video. Now you try. Copy this problem down in your notes and reduce it. Pause the video. Here's the problem worked out. Please pause the video, check your work, and copy this into your notes.